the central government is undertaking a welfare scheme of free food grains distribution to the poor every year the central government is allocating lakhs of crores of rupees for the purpose of free distribution of food grains to the poor the center's subsidy bill for the year 2324 is likely to reduce likely to be reduced and let us see what are the reasons behind the reduction in free food grain supply distribution bill the center's subsidy bill is expected to fall in the next fiscal year even after making food grains free for the poor as the additional allocation under the covid 19 relief scheme will end in december this year because of the ending of the scheme in the month of december this year the the food subsidy bill for the government may reduce the center also deciding to bear the cost of food grain transport intrastate transport cost half of which was borne by the states will now be entirely borne by the central government this is additional benefit given to the state governments they need not the states need not buy and bear any part of the transportation cost of food grains under this food grains free supply to the poor the states will only have to manage the distribution through ration shops the cabinet decided to provide free food grain to nearly 814 million eligible beneficiaries under the national food security act the nearly 80 crores people will be benefited with this under the scheme doing away with the even the heavily subsidized price of 3 2 and 1 for rice wheat and coarse grain respectively so it is because it is a free 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 supply and the even the heavy subsidized price also will not be collected from the beneficiaries which was collected at the rate of 3 rupees 2 rupees 1 rupee also will be discontinued because it is a free food grains supply distribution scheme however the pradhan mantri garib kalyan anna yojana pmg kay the scheme initially tribute a 5 kg of temporary relief measure that offered and 1 kg of and 1 kg and 5 kg and 5 kg of wheat or rice and 1 kg of whole chana dal free of cost per person per month will complete 28 months in december garib kalyan anna anna yojana under which the poor were getting 5 kg of rice or 5 kg of wheat and 1 kg of chana dal free of cost per person per month will be discontinued from the month of december because of the it was continued for the total 28 months up to december the additional expenditure in these 28 months is estimated at 3.91 lakh crore which will not be incurred any longer yielding substantial savings for the government even after absorbing the additional outgo on account of free food under national food security act the government has budgeted nearly 32 lakh crore towards food subsidy in financial 23 against 2.86 lakh crore in the financial 21 22 the subsidy bill could drop sharply in the year 23 24 to slightly higher than the pre and pre pandemic level this is expected to give the government physical room to step up allocation for capital expenditure without compromising on social sector schemes nf nfc nfsa national food security act covers up to 75% of the rural population and 50% of the urban population under the antyodaya anna yojana and priority households while antyodaya anna yojana households which constitute the poorest of the poor are entitled to 35 kg of food grain per family per month priority households are entitled to 5 kg per person per month this is the scheme under which the 
प्रधानमंत्री गरीब अन्न क गरीब कल्याण अन्नदान योजना एंड अंत्योदय अन्न योजना बोथ द स्कीम्स आर आर टू हेल्प द पुअर एट फूड विथ सप्लाई ऑफ फ्री सप्लाई ऑफ फूड ग्रेन्स आर टू द नीडी बेनिफिशरी बोथ द स्कीम्स ऑफ प्रधानमंत्री गरीब कल्याण अन्न योजना एंड अंत्योदय अन्न योजना आर कास्टिंग द सेंट्रल गवर्नमेंट मोर देन टू लैक्स क्रोर्स पर एनम विच हेल्प द अंडर द स्कीम द पुअरेस्ट ऑफ द पुअर एंड द नीडी पुअर विल बी बेनिफिटेड विद द सप्लाई ऑफ फूड ग्रेन्स फ्री ऑफ कास्ट एंड दट इज टू द सप्लाई ऑफ फूड ग्रेन्स एवरी मंथ टू द नीडी पुअर एट फ्री ऑफ कास्ट पर्पज ऑफ दिस स्कीम्स बोथ द स्कीम्स इज टू हेल्प द पुअरेस्ट ऑफ द पुअर एंड द नीडी पुअर टू हैव to under to ensure for food security for them under this scheme the states uh, earlier the states governments used to bear half of the cost of the transportation of interest in the within the state and interest interstate interstate transfer of goods from godowns to ration shops but after this decision the central government is going to bear the total cost of transportation of the goods of the food grains from godowns to shops and ration shops with this the state government's role is reduced the state government's burden of spending on transportation of free food grain supply is reduced and the, uh, the entire cost transportation cost is borne by, by the central government the uh, state government has to extend the support under these schemes to the central government with managing the supply of managing the ration shops and ensuring the poor and needy are benefited are distributed with the food grains free of cost these are the schemes which are, which are helpful for the poor people to are uh, to ensure them food security under the under this scheme nearly 80 80 crores people are covered under the scheme so that many people have food security for their survival for their livelihood